What's up guys, Flexboy here, and I'm back with another tutorial. I've got a lot of requests on how I record my videos, so uh, yeah, I thought I could show you guys. It's not really that hard to do, and all that you need is Fraps, really. And I provided you with a w uh, link in the description to Fraps homepage. Um, I don't really want to promote piracy on my channel, so if you want to get it for free somewhere, you can do that somewhere else, but not here. Alright. So, the settings that you will need in Fraps are the following. Uh, these doesn't really matter, these doesn't really matter, but I prefer to have a counter in the top right corner to see like what FPS I am on when, whenever I'm recording. It's not really necessary, you can just hide hide the thing, but yeah, I used this. Uh, here is the whole shing -ding. Uh You will need 120 FPS and you will need to record in full size. Um, you will also need to record with uh, like record win 7 sound if you um, want to have the in-game audio as well in the video uh, but these are the settings that I use and for some reason I couldn't record this tutorial while I was recording in CSGO um, so I had to close this unfortunately but I will tell you guys how I how I do alright so whenever you come into CSGO you want to load the demo that you want to record of course and I just picked this demo for the sake of the tutorial. Yeah, I think I used this demo in com some com community edit, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. In my movie config, you can, you can press the letter G to accept my movie config, which will put the host time scale to uh, 0.25, which is what we're going to need in order to um, uh, record this. So, um, yeah, that uh, you can also press F in my movie config to reset the whole speed of the whole video. But what you want to do is you want to press G to make it like host time scale um, 0 0.25 and whenever you want to record you just press record and yeah you just record the video um, until you wanna stop the record so let's say I wanna like start the recording here I just press my record button and I let this to re I let this record until I think I'm done so let's say I wanna quit the like quit stop recording here so I just press the same button as you pressed before to start record it will stop your record and if you do want the in-game sound as well you're going to have to um, uh, enable like the sound on CSGO here I, I usually disable the sound when I'm not recording the sound because the sound will be pretty weird as you guys can hear now so what you want to do now is you want to press F to reset the speed And then just record this in real time, in real speed. So uh, yeah, you just record, start record at the same point as you did before, but this time with sound. Um, so that's that. All right. So when you are done recording, you don't have to put this into virtual dub or anything. That and that's why I think this is so so, so much easier and quicker than the start movie way. Um, but yeah. So I actually had these pre-recorded. Uh, because I couldn't record as I told you guys before so um, I recorded the, the same I recorded the same uh, demo that I show you guys so uh, you can delete this audio because you don't need it because you have the audio here you can press the letter U and so in Vegas you will separate these two layers and you can delete the audio um, and you will do the same here but you delete the video alright so now to as you guys can see this is very, very slow this is what we recorded so what, what, what we want to do is right click, click properties, and put the playback rate to 4. Um, that will make, that will do so the video is in real time. However, there's another way to make this a lot quicker. You just hold control, and you drag the video in, bam, like that. That will put the video to um, real speed as well. So that's always something to keep in mind. Then what you want to do is just line up the audio to, yeah, to the video. Cool. Bam. Bam. So now the audio is synced, and yeah, that's pretty much everything. And then what you want to do is you want to add some velocity as well, so you guys can play a lot, play around with that as well. But yeah, that was pretty much everything, guys. It's not much harder than that. I hope I made myself clear, even though it might have been a little bit like too fuzzy. Um, but yeah, you just record with host time skill 0.25 with 120 FPS in Fraps, and then you put the playback rate in to 4 in Sony Vegas. It's not much harder than that. <laughs> it's much easier than using the start movie technique, um, 
so far I don't know if there's any quality loss or something like that but but I don't think I, I don't think so um, but yeah that was everything for me guys I hope you liked the tutorial um, don't forget to check out my other videos and I will see you guys soon bye